Hi everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to do a refill with your ASP nail forms. So let's, let's start get out with your prep work, pushing back your cuticles, making sure there's no dead skin cells around the cuticles. You want to make sure you remove that. Then you're going to take your 100-180 grit file and you can take down the length if you want. Go around the side walls of the nail. I'm going to taper down the free edge because after two to three weeks of nail growth, depending on how often you want to do a fill, what was thicker here in the stress area will now be growing out. So you want to make sure that you taper down the free edge so you don't have a thick free edge and you're going to do that. You want to make sure you look at the nail from all angles, okay? And then of course you're going to go around your cuticle area and taper that down so that it's nice and even to your natural nail. And I'm going to do this step and I will come back and show you the rest. Now that my prep work is done, my filing, I'm going to cleanse my nail really quick just to remove all the dust and oils and then I'm going to go in with my nail primer and you only apply the primer where the new nail growth area is so only around the cuticle area where your natural nail is exposed. Once that's done you're going to measure your form to your nail again and for mine is number zero. You want to make sure from sidewall to sidewall it fits perfectly. I have my liquid and my powder and of course my number 10 size ASP brush and my form. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bubbles out of my brush. Dip it in again. Wipe off excess. Pick up a bead and I'm going to place it in the center of the form and I'm going to just pat it into place from sidewall to sidewall. Okay. And then stroke it down. Wipe off your brush. Pick up another ball. that. Place it down, let it sit for a second and push it into place. You want to make sure that the side walls of the form are covered because if you don't have enough acrylic there that's when you start to get the lifting problems. And then just stroke that out. And one last time I'm going to pick up another ball Place, let it sit and then stroke it out from side to side okay and now we're going to place it onto the nail close to the cuticle and just press it down Nice and firm. Okay. Clean around the sidewalls. Make sure you remove the excess. Do this before it starts to set. Remove all that excess. And I will come back and show you guys what the form looks like. After I get this stuff off. Once the form is set, then you can go ahead and remove it, gently rocking it back and forth. And there you go. So now you can go ahead and file the free edge sidewalls. So at this point, after you've filed and buffed your nail, 
you can go ahead and apply your IBD Intense Seal and this is 100% UV dry so you need an ultraviolet lamp and you need to cure this for 3 minutes and it just gives you that um, very high gloss shine and if you do plan to use uh, pure acetone to remove your nail polish then I suggest that you use this because it protects the acrylic underneath so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you would pretty much do the same thing with the gels I won't do a demo for that because it's very similar you would just do all the prep work like I showed you before you would take your gel of course with your gel brush you would apply the gel into the form you would apply a very thin layer of gel onto your natural nail and then you would pop the form onto the nail hold it into the UV lamp for 20 seconds until it just sets up and then you can let go of the um, form and it will finish curing for the three minutes so refill on the gel forms is pretty much the same so thanks so much for watching you guys don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye for now